well, let's see, Bryce was born here in Syracuse, and um, I mean, he had a normal childhood, although we kind of, he was a firstborn, so we probably coddled him a little bit. <laughs> Happy just a really smiley baby he's always he's, and he's still that way he's he's always got a smile on his face um he's just a positive kid uh, <laughs> uh bryce actually started when he was five years old um he came home from school and he had a a flyer that basically had a, a month special for martial arts karate at the time uh, brought it home wanted to get involved and i kind of you know, rolled my eyes and thought, here we go. That's kind of where it all took off. And Bryce was kind of chasing that black belt level, getting his first black belt. And uh, he always played other sports. So it took him maybe a little longer than a lot of the other students um, because we didn't just make it all about karate for him. We wanted this to become a way of life and something that he would be in long term. Bryce Mills, 15 years old, from Liverpool, New York. I fight because I grew up watching people do it, such as Kevin, my role models, Louis Ashkar, the whole Ashkar family, Mr. Andrella himself, AJ. I grew up watching it. When I was just 10, I went to the first fights at the Holiday Inn and I just loved it. And I said, you know, I gotta do it someday. Nobody in the ring that I know is going to have as good a conditioning as me. That's because of all the work I'm putting in at Kyle's. Kyle, Bice, Dylan Bice, they both train me in. I know I work harder than anybody, so that's why my conditioning's so good. Come up, corset, squeeze, come right back down. Notice how I'm not coming all the way down. The bench is in my way. That's okay, because I want to see you burn. You just met Kyle a little over a year, year and a half ago, but they've grown very close. He takes care of all his conditioning, his nutrition, his eating, um, so he's been fortunate to have him. It's been rough because he comes home and has like maybe an hour and then no not even an hour and then he goes to strength and speed training for an hour comes back and he's got about two hours to eat again and do homework for about an hour and a half if it takes that long then he goes again to his training camp his fight training I first met Bryce when he was uh, five years old. He came in um, as a traditional martial arts student, and you know, it's led up to now. He's not allowing himself to get lazy, so I'm slipping punches from every angle. That's what I'm looking for. Got it? Sure. All right, get with your partner. You're not putting he's, like, he's like another dad to me. He'll correct me when I'm doing something wrong. He's always there for me. It's a, it's a type of relationship where if you mess up, he's going to tell you. He's not going to like ride over like everything's okay, you know? He's going to tell you, which is good. It's what I need. I mean, I'm so lucky to have him in my life. He's a great person. Bryce has a very unique style. That, you know, I think some people call him real aggressive, which he is. Um, but he can transition between speed and power. Um, 
you know, moving in and out. He can fight going backwards and forward. He prefers to go forward. But if you were to overall kind of summarize it, I would say he's definitely a, a forward, aggressive, um, high, high output, energized fighter. Uh, he's a man child. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Bryce really honestly is one of those people that if he wants to do something he's just got to stick to it and no matter what it is whether it's fighting or it's a different sport or I mean business wise for that matter um, if he wants to do it he'll do it. AJ's like a big brother to me. AJ's like uh one of my one of my good friends and I've got so much more skill implanted in my game through AJ. We spent so many days hitting the pads, boxing, uh, getting the mechanics down and we still are. So AJ's like a big brother. He's a great guy too. Other role models I think are some of the fighters he's around, Kevin Van Ostrand, Louis Ashgar, uh, Josh Ricci, these guys that have really formed him into who he is today and, and really taken this little, you know, runt that started in class and brought him up and um, had a huge part of his success. Kevin is another big brother to me. He's kind of like I'm on the same lines of AJ. Kevin, I look up to as a role model as well. I mean, in kickboxing, he has one of the, the best styles I've ever seen in my life. He can be one of the best fighters ever. And I just look up to him. I want to mimic his style and just pick a few parts out of his game just so I can implant it into mine and take it in. Take it in. <laughs> On a fight day, you know, it's kind of funny because I, I joke around with people on Bryce's team and in his camp because on a typical fight day, Bryce is extremely relaxed and I'll often like grab him and say, hey, you know, you got to fight in a few hours. And he just said, yeah, yeah, I'm good. My opponent, Machine Williams, how I would describe him. He's a great fighter. He fights like Floyd Mayweather a little bit. He's got a lot of skill, uh, technique. He's been boxing for a long time. I guess he's got over like 190 something fights, 200 fights, something like that. So he's a lot more experienced than I am. But what I should do is I shouldn't use my emotions. I shouldn't fight with my emotions. I should stick to the game plan. I should cut off the rein. I shouldn't chase him around. And uh, I should go to the body because he's moving his head around. It's hard to hit. So yeah, hopefully everything goes OK. Sometimes I don't like it because if the guy is like really big with something, I think he's gonna get like put in the hospital. But then again, once he starts fighting, I'm fine with it because usually he just wins. <laughs> Very hard to watch, and you all—you know—I'm a nurse, so I know the medical side of what can happen with 
head injury. So that makes it more scary for me. But when your son has a passion for something, I had, I had no choice but to support it, so. We'll be out at times and somebody will come up to him and I don't even know if they know his real name at times but they say hey are you the golden boy and you know kind of gives a smirk um, so it's funny but I, I think he has fun with it and it doesn't we try not to let it go to his head so that's that's the big thing. He doesn't really have an ego. Um, in fact, I think he has the opposite of an ego. He sometimes you gotta you get him to <laughs> come out of his shell a little bit. So uh, that's a perfect name for him. Fuck! Oh.